Well, tonight the rain has let up, but we're still working on getting the temperature back to something resembling April. Kristen, how's it coming on that in that regard? We'll need about another 36 hours and then we'll be there and then we'll surpass it uh, by a large margin as we head toward this weekend. So just hang on for another day and uh, we're going to have some nice dry weather and some sunshine for most of the rest of the seven day forecast. Right now we're looking at improved conditions over the saturation that we had today. Lots of rain and snow for folks up to the north in portions of Jefferson County, Forest County. We've had uh, two to three inch uh, snowfall accumulations reported. Clarion County had their salt trucks out today, so it's just been a mess of a day. And then that heavy rain from really the turnpike south. Now we have a dry slot that's giving us a little bit of a break. The heaviest activities moved off to the east, and now we have round two. Lake enhanced showers coming down off of Lake Erie as we have northwesterly winds, and it's starting off as a rain snow mix, but gradually as we head through the wee hours of the morning and temperatures fall, this will all transition over to snow showers, and you can see this sort of pinwheeling around that low pressure center, and we will start to see snow showers for the morning rush. So know that roads could be slick tomorrow, especially if we're down right near the freezing point and we have a lot of wet roadways and then snow showers on top of that. So we have a first alert weather day in effect because of that and additional snow accumulations possible north and into the Laurel Highlands tomorrow. Maybe in grassy surfaces you might get a slushy coating or up to an inch in places like northern Butler County and over into eastern Westmoreland and Fayette counties. Right now the temperature is staying above freezing Fairly, Newcastle, Butler, Catanning at 35, Pittsburgh's at 36. You see Somerset is down at 32. So here are the impacts for each region tomorrow. Most areas uh, really in the, the Pittsburgh metro region areas south of I-70, you're going to see morning snow showers, and then by lunchtime, it'll mix with change to some rain showers. But 422 up to I-80 and over into the laurels and ridges, you could see snow showers continue throughout the afternoon with that additional accumulation. So here's Futurecast. We take you through the wee hours of the morning. You start to see those lake effect streamers coming down and really picking up speed across the Laurel Highlands and the higher elevations. Then by lunchtime, we start to get warming temperatures. We start to see some green changes over and mixes with a little rain by dinner time. Just a couple of rain showers left. The snow showers finally make it all off to the east and we get back to drier weather for Wednesday. So 44 the high tomorrow, 56 on Wednesday with sunshine. Thursday looks a little soggy in the morning. 63 degrees though, so it will be all liquid. Friday 69, partly cloudy. Look at this Saturday, Sunday, way above normal temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s. And Monday we stay warm with just a couple of rain showers. Ken.